I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another concept of finding inverse of function using words. The question here is describe inverse of the following functions in words. So you don't have to do any algebra or sketch the graph to find inverse. We'll just use words to find the inverse. It's a very efficient method. So two examples. A function is defined as divide by 4 then subtract 5. The second one is g of x equals to 2 times x minus 3 whole square minus 5. Let's understand the concept. So when we say this is a function, right? So what really happens here is that you provide an input and you get some output. Let me use you get some output right so so that is what happens so you have an input here and you have an output now inverse which is let's say this operation will do what if I feed back the output I get the same input do you see that so so whatever you feed in let's say you feed in this you get the same thing out right so that is kind of inverse function so basically, we also call this as a reverse operation. So whatever has been done by the function has been reversed by the inverse to get you the same thing. Do you understand? So reverse operation. This concept will be applied to find inverse in this particular video. Perfect. I hope the concept is clear to you. Let's, let's do it divide by 4 then subtract 5 now let's read from this side so the reverse operation is what is reverse of subtract 5 add 5 right so we say so so the inverse will be add 5 and then what do you do divide by 4 no you do multiply by 4 multiply by 4. Do you understand? That is how it, it works. To give you a concrete equation, it could be f of x equals to divide by 4, that means x divided by 4, then subtract 5. This. Is it okay? Now, what I'm saying is f inverse of x is add 5, that means x plus 5, and then multiply by 4 and then multiply by 4 perfect that is my inverse is it okay what you can do is you can check does it work so check but see how simple it is divide by 4 then subtract add 5 then divide by 4 is that then multiply by 4 okay so add 5 and then multiply by 4 that will give you the inverse of the function. Algebraically, we can write like this. Now, let's do this one. Now, g of x is what? g of x is, if you read this equation, 2 times, what is this? What do you do here? 2 times x minus 3 whole square minus 5. So, what do you do here first? First, you square... First you take away x3 from x, you square, multiply by 2, and then you take away 5. Do you understand? So what are the operations involved here? You start from inside. Is it okay? So, so first operation you do is subtract 3. That is first thing. And then you square that thing. Then you square. And then you multiply by 2. Then you multiply by 2. and then you subtract 5. Do you see that? These are the operations performed on input to get you this output. Do you see that? That's the function g of x. Now if I have to do the reverse, I will do what? We'll start from this side. We'll start from this side and we will write. Instead of subtract 5, I'll do add 5. 
and then instead of multiply by 2 I say divide by 2 and then square root then we do square root is it okay that is reverse of square remember whenever you do square root you have to write plus and minus is it okay and then instead of subtract 3 we will do add 3 do you see that and then what you get is inverse of function so this is equal to g inverse x perfect now some of you might have got confused what i did so let me write this equation here so g inverse of x is let's say add 5 add 5 to x right add 5 divide by 2 divide by 2 square root square root whenever you do square root you have to write plus and minus right add 3 so that becomes the inverse of the given function do you see that so if you swap x and y first thing you will do is you will add 5 then you divide by 2 then you do square root plus and minus and add 3 so in words that is how you could do it i am anil kumar and i hope you appreciate this technique right so as added exercise you need to check this also is it okay it always works remember this so that is an excellent excellent technique it's a perfect way of doing things uh, just in seconds right reverse order is inverse function i'm anil kumar and i hope you understand and appreciate this concept try to apply it also thank you and all the best and if you like you can put some likes share with your friends thank you